I'm not a lash extensions girly because I cannot do the upkeep. I can hardly keep up with my hair. So today I'm becoming a false scara lashes girly. Um, if this works out for me, I've seen a lot of people try this and it seems to be working for them. So I'm going to try it out today and we're going to see how easy it is, if it works and how long it lasts. So if you're not familiar with this, download TikTok, but also this is just a set by Kiss. They usually make a lot of lash products. I love Kiss lashes, so I'm hoping that these are as easy to use and as good as their regular lashes, but it comes with a bond, a seal, a little thing to pick them up, and then a few chunks of lashes, like pieces of strip lashes. You can also get different styles, so they have different shapes and different lengths, and everyone always says to get the remover, so I got the remover. I would be so scared to buy something, put it on, and then not know how to remove it, so get the remover. Now this is optional, it's the overnighter sealer, and you don't have to get it, but this is what makes the lashes last up to 10 days, and if I'm gonna spend 10 whole minutes of my time working on my lashes, they better be staying. Also, I've seen people use this and their lashes last like like two weeks so I'm definitely going to try this out I'm starting with the lashes that just came in the kit and I will get fancy with it once I'm good at the system I don't know why I'm so nervous about this but we're just gonna get started and the first side to use is the side that says bond it's the purple one and it just looks like a tiny little brush so you're supposed to brush this on the underside of your lashes just wide enough to put one of the little strips because it's gonna dry quickly and some people say to leave it on for 10 seconds before putting it on so it gets tacky. So I'm just gonna do the width of one of the strips and don't get it on your lash line, just like right up to it, but not on your lash line. Everyone keeps saying a little goes a long way with this. So I'm just gonna do that. This is kind of hard with my lashes being curly at the end. I'm just picking up one of the strips and they say just place it right underneath. Okay. Okay, it's stuck already. They say you can squeeze it together with your natural lashes with this tool or with your fingers. A lot of people prefer fingers, so I'm probably gonna do that at the end. But this tool is supposed to be made so that it doesn't stick to it, and so far the glue is not sticking to this. It's sticking to where it needs to stick. That is so cute though, like the upturned look. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so same thing right next to it. Ah. Okay, that was not good. I think I was too slow on that one. I'm gonna try and go faster. Stick to my eye. Okay, that looks good. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. Let's see if I can do this one the first try. That is so crazy, because I feel like I look awake on this side and like asleep on this side. One more round of the bonder. Nope, that's not good. Let's try again. Not gonna lie, that applicator is too hard to use. So I'm switching to tweezers so I can get it more precise. And it's easier to hold. I'm actually gonna cut one in half so I can do the inner corners. Adding a little bond. Now I'm gonna just squeeze it together with my natural lashes. I think I actually might use this tool for that. Ah, no, get off. Okay, I am very happy with this side now. So I'm gonna seal it all in. This is supposed to help it from being sticky when you blink so it won't get caught on the bottom and so that it doesn't get caught on the top while you're sleeping. So you're supposed to just rub it underneath. I'm putting some on top too because I saw someone show this as a hack, but this is not in the instructions, so it is optional. So I'm very happy with these, so I'm gonna seal it in with the overnighter. So this is like black stuff. This is like a black liner, but you're supposed to just cover it, not on the lash line, but just kind of along the edges. I don't know why there are two types of glues, but there are. So here we go, here's the before and here's the after and you can see like the craziest difference when I look down, when I look up, when I side eye, you know, doesn't give the same effect over here. So I'm gonna do the other eye. Let's get the first bond on. Does anyone else have corner lashes that are just curled into oblivion? Like what am I supposed to do with these? Second strip, third strip. And lastly, I'm gonna do that inner corner half lash. 
So now before it sticks to everything else, I'm gonna seal it in. You can definitely tell when the sealer is on because then your lashes aren't sticky when you blink. And I'm gonna do the top. Oh, see, because it gets sticky up there. I think the lashes look even better once they're sealed. I feel like it makes them kind of glossy or something. Okay, we can all agree this looks crazy on the inner corner, so I'm going to go in and cut it, but be careful because it's dry. I'm going to use the overnighter and seal it in. The fact that this system exists is so crazy to me, and I've always wanted to get lash extensions, but I've never wanted to keep up with them. And that's it. These are the lashes. This is the final look. I think it is so cute, so dramatic. They look like the type of lashes that I would buy in strip lash and put on and off all the time and be very annoyed at. But now you can just be annoyed one time while you're putting it on and it can last for 10 days. I don't know personally how well they're gonna last me, but I will definitely keep you guys updated. Do you like this little braid I put in here? I'm going out tonight and I want to just like a little something something, so. Yeah, I'm kind of into braiding these days, but it is also a little hard with these nails. I've been getting back into nail art and I love them bedazzled and long and sometimes they're 3D art like this rose. So it's a little bit harder to maneuver through your hair, but I'm obsessed and I think they're worth it. It brings me back to childhood when I would spend five hours per weekend painting little designs on my nails. Only the OGs know. But yeah, these are the final results. I am so happy with how they turned out, but if you guys have any tips on how to do a better job, leave them in the comments down below.